Today we are at Miss Sil to try their take on Korean American food. So let's check it out. Okay, so this place has Korean fried chicken. They do sell whole chicken as well as chicken wings, but we ended up getting the six pieces of chicken wings. Keep in mind that if you do order the six pieces, you can't do half and half, so it's uh, two different flavors. You can only get one flavor, so we ended up getting spicy. If you do 12 pieces of wings, though, you can definitely do two flavors. They also have regular crust pizza. They have cheese crust and gold crust. We ended up going for the gold crust barbecue chicken pizza. And then they also have thin crust pizza as well, which is pretty cool. A lot of appetizers you can choose from. Think like Korean American bar food. So truffle fries, Parmesan fries, fried dumplings. And I think spam fries here was kind of like the most unique thing here. But we don't eat pork spam, so unfortunately cannot get it. But if you guys come here, spam fries, we've heard was really good here. The first item that came to our table was the coconut shrimp fries. It looks so crispy, so golden brown. And then it's topped with like shredded cheese and like some microgreens and sliced radishes. Wait, that's shredded cheese? Isn't this coconut shavings? Is it? Oh. Yeah, it's coconut shavings. Oh, whoops. Okay, I take it back. <laughs> Fried coconut on the shrimp and then some shredded coconut on top. And then also the coconut shrimp comes with its own blue cheese sauce. I don't think I've ever had coconut shrimp and blue cheese, so that's gonna be interesting. Mm, that's really good. The shrimp on the inside is like really sweet and juicy, not dry at all. That coconut layer on the outside is just so crispy, so golden and like a little bit salty almost. So it works really well with a nice sweet trim on the inside. I definitely feel like if you're not a fan of coconut, you'll still like this because it doesn't have that coconutty aftertaste that I think some people don't like. Okay, so second dish we're trying at Masil, we got the barbecue chicken pizza with golden crust. So you're probably wondering what is golden crust? Well, I'm looking at it right now and it's basically a bunch of melted cheese on it to the point where it's like almost hardened. Like there's crispy cheese all over it. I think Pizza Hut first invented that with the stuffed cheese pizza. And now they took it a step further with the golden crust. They topped it with barbecue sauce, white sauce. I can see like a ring of garlic puree around the edge. There's pineapples, there's peppers, green peppers, red peppers. And of course you got the chicken. So let's just give it a try and see how it tastes. All right, here we go. Immediately you taste the barbecue sauce. It's a very sweet pizza, honestly, with the pineapples, the barbecue sauce, and the white sauce. It ends up being a lot sweeter than I thought it'd be. Right now I'm gonna give the crust and this puree at the back a try. Mm. All right, so it's not garlic. It's a sweet puree. It almost tastes like yam or something. They also gave us some hot sauce. I believe it's Tabasco. So I'm just gonna toss them on there and see if that changes up any of the flavors. Mm. I would say the Tabasco helps a lot, honestly. Even though I think the sweet works really well with this, I like this Tabasco because it makes it a little sour, a little spicy. All right, let's dive into this pasta. Look at that. Oh, it just looks so creamy. Look at all that steam coming off of it. Right? It like came in this huge kind of yeah. porcelain looking dish. With huge shrimp inside. Look at that. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. That's radish, a nice portion. Microgreen. And then a shrimp to kind of top it all off. I mean, I feel like there's so much pasta they gave. I literally just poured out that much. That's how much is left in the, the plate. It is $27 though, so keep that in mind if you want to order this. It's, it's pretty expensive. Okay, so 27 bucks for this jumbo prawn rose pasta. That is a steep price for one pasta dish, but I think what makes it $27 is because they use a lot of shrimp in this pasta. As you can see, there's a ton of larger shrimps, and it looks like they give a large portion as well. Like you guys can see, I scooped out all of this on my plate. And there's still definitely like three or four more portions in that plate. So 
This is definitely a sharing dish. There's been a lot of hype behind this dish, especially from people who have already come here. So of course we had to try it. Let's give it a bite. To be honest, I wasn't sure exactly how a rose pasta would taste or what even like that means. But I have to say it kind of tastes more like a, like an Alfredo almost, but like mixed with a little bit of tomato sauce. You can kind of almost taste the shrimp in the sauce as well. So for $27, would I get it again? Yes, I would. I would just make sure to tag along a couple of friends so that they can help me finish it. So over here we have the star appetizer of Marcel. This is the black calamari fries. Basically it's squid ink on the dough, like the uh, breading, and then there's calamari inside. Excited to try it. It does look a little weird, but cheers. It just tastes like calamari, honestly. I know the color may be a little off-putting. It's not the most amazing calamari I've ever had. The white sauce doesn't really have any flavor in my opinion. It's definitely great for pictures, I'll say that much, but is it my favorite in terms of the food? Not really. It is also a little pricey, it's like 15 bucks, but they do give you a lot of calamari. So the final dish we got from Masil, of course you can't visit a Korean fried chicken place without getting Korean fried chicken. Let's talk about what's in front of us. So we have six wings that have a beautiful glaze coated on the outside of each one. You can tell it's crispy, it just came out of the fryer. And the sauce actually looks very much like soy garlic. It's almost deceptively spicy in a way. And it's topped with um, some cilantro or rather parsley and then some, of course, radish slices. I feel like that's a trend that we've commonly seen in some of the other dishes here. And with the wings, you also get a little bit of spicy mayo, which I think is one of my favorite sauces. And it's definitely gonna go well with this. So let's bite into it and see if it's just as juicy as some of the other Korean fried chickens we've had. Right. This is our wings. Ta-da! Are you gonna dip it in the sauce now or? No, nah, I'm gonna try it raw. Ready? <laughs> Cheers. Mm. That's spicy. This one looks spicy. That is, ooh. This actually tastes really good. It tastes like pretty much like the other soy garlic wings we've had. It's honestly not too different, but they do do it well here. So I would say that if you're in the mood for some Korean fried chicken, you know, Masil is another go-to spot that you can order these wings at. I actually have a different opinion. I feel like it tastes a little different in terms of the soy garlicness. Mm -hmm. This one has more garlic flavor rather than soy because a lot of the other places we've been to, like Mad for Chicken, Pelicano, you know, the Queen staples for Korean fried chicken, mm -hmm. they're more focused on the soy flavor than the garlic. Even through all the spiciness, I can actually taste mm -hmm. the garlic. I would say the garlic is a predominant flavor here. So I actually like this a lot. I would say this is probably one of my favorite like soy garlic wings that you can get. Those are all the dishes that we've tried at Masil. Now we're gonna figure out which was our favorite bites of the day. So best bite time. So there were several good dishes that we've tried today, including the wings, the pizza, the coconut trim. But I have to say my best bite of the day, as you guys can probably tell by process of elimination, is the jumbo prawn shrimp rose pasta. Something like that. <laughs> Something like that. It deserves, I think, some recognition for being a really good garlicky, creamy pasta. If you love Alfredo's, you're definitely gonna love this one. And you really taste the shrimp coming through. So definitely eat it as soon as it gets to your table because once it gets cold, it doesn't have the same effect anymore. So definitely eat it ASAP when you get it. I actually have a two-way tie for my best bites. So can do that. I don't know if you guys can guess, but I really like the barbecue chicken pizza with the golden crust. But I also really like this chicken wing, the spicy soy garlic chicken wing. I think the garlicness that came out through here, because you know there's not much soy flavor, a lot of garlic flavor. I think it worked really well for the chicken wings, and the pizza also worked really well. Thank you guys so much for checking out this food vlog. Let us know in the comments below which dish looked the best to you. See you guys in our next video. Bye. Bye.